Jesus is buried in the tomb, we were buried with him. When Jesus rose from the dead, we rose from the dead with him. And I just wanted to, to uh, share with you that, you know, when a, when a person comes to the Lord Jesus Christ and is born again, we receive a piece of God, the, the Holy Spirit, the divine nature of God. We re God gives us a piece of Himself. So that we want to serve Him from a willing heart. We want to serve God because now it's in our nature to serve Him. But there's only one thing though. You see, we still have that old sinful nature. Okay, that, that sinful nature is still there. God doesn't take that away. Okay? But He gives us a way to deal with it. And baptism is one of those ways that He gives us to deal with it. And, okay, and, and what, we're, what we're doing today is we're like... It's like we're going we're gonna, to, when we get baptized, it's like we're going to a funeral and a wedding yep. today. And if you get a hold of this, what I'm, what I'm sharing with you, this is the truth that will set you free. Amen. Okay, this is the truth that will set you free. We want to be free from addiction, from sin. This is the truth that will set you free. Amen. 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 And I have a, a, a Bible here. This is David Lang's Bible. And some of you know it and know him as the captain, Captain Gage. Yep. And this Bible has a unique story behind it. Okay? And uh, one day David was at work and his roommate was home and this Bible was sitting on the coffee table underneath the ceiling fan. And somebody knocked on the door. His roommate, uh, Bob Russell, was home and somebody came to the door. And they were wearing a robe and uh, some sandals on. And he asked for a drink of water. And Bob told me that he's never seen sandals like that before on anybody. He gave him a drink of water, and after he left, he looked to see where he was. And it was as though he just disappeared. And as he was thinking about this, wondering what had just happened, about 10 or 15 minutes later, there was a crash of lightning and thunder in the living room. And this Bible that was laying on the coffee table was now laying on the floor, opened up to the Book of Romans. And this, that you see here, is a little cross that's embroidered out of ribbon. And it was hanging from the ceiling fan, the pool chain. And it shot right through the Bible. Okay? Now, and it, and it shook Bob up. He called Dave and said, oh, you oh, oh, can even talk. He said that he couldn't even pick it up. It was too hot. Okay. Uh, David called me, told me what had happened on the phone. But for some reason, I don't know, it just didn't register what had really happened. You know. And about two to three weeks later, he showed me. I saw the Bible in church. I said, "What's this? What, what's this?" And he said, "Oh, don't you remember I told you what happened?" And when I saw this, I just it was like it, the the awesome miracle that happened was not what had happened, but where it happened. Because God marked the page, okay, in Romans chapter 6, 4, 5, and 6, is where this marked, okay. And me, as a young Christian, when I first got saved, the Lord had delivered me from drugs. He delivered me, and, and, and my big drug was smoking dope, okay. That was like, you know, the Lord delivered me from it. Amen. And, and for about a year and a half, I was free from that. But all of a sudden, I started falling back into it. You know, I was in the, <clears throat> you know, old friends would come around and say, "Hey, here," you know, you know, the, the kind of friends. Uh, I was, I was going through a time where everywhere I went, I was finding pot. Okay, I was finding roaches, I was finding joints, I was finding little baggies of pot for like about. A two or three month period. Okay, everywhere I went, I was finding, it. and I was struggling with it. I was falling back into this thing, and I was. And, and every time I spoke, I feel guilty and say, "Lord, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, forgive me." And uh, and it was during that time that I was in a Bible study in the Book of Romans. And when I understood what Paul was talking about, dying to the old sinful nature, okay, to that old the carnal mind. Okay, we become dead to the carnal mind. When I understood that, 
I was able to put that to death and reckon, it says to reckon ourselves to be dead with Jesus. And, and I was able to reckon that old man to be dead with him. And I was delivered, I found my freedom from that. Just realizing and understanding that. And today, as, as you're going to get baptized, today this could be a fresh beginning for you. A new start.